What is up everybody, welcome back to Park Mazda. Today we're taking a look at this beautiful 2021 GMC Yukon SLE. The GMC Yukon in front of us does have eight seats. You also do have the 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 in it. Very nice vehicle here on the exterior, amazing condition. Bunch of options, so let's get into it and see what's going on. So first the door handle here, you do have your advanced keyless entry, so you can tap to lock. And then it gives you a little light there, letting the less locked. And then you do have the tap to unlock as well with that advanced keyless entry and the proximity key. Soft touch leather armrest here, power windows, power mirrors, and the power locks up top. Bunch of storage in the door panel. Very nice speaker design here. Does look very good. You also do have your power driver seat here with the lumbar support. You have that same power seat control on the passenger side. You have that nice cloth upholstery throughout the black headliner. Nice premium looking dash. So let's get into the GMC and see what else is going on. Now that we're inside the GMC here, you can see they have that big screen. We can turn it on with that push button start. Starts right up. And on the left hand side of the steering column, you can find your parking brake there, your traction control on and off. You do have parking sensor for the front and rear there, so you can turn that on or off. You also do have an outlet in the back, a full household outlet that you can turn on or off here as well. You have your automatic 4x4 uh, off your train, 4 high for train mode there. And then you can also switch the different modes here. So you do have your normal spo sport, off-road, and tow haul. So you do have those options, which is very nice. Dimmer switch here, automatic headlights, and then you also do have the fog lights down below. And on the left-hand side of the steering column, or steering wheel, you're gonna find your cruise control settings. You do have the gap adjustment there as well. On the back here, you do have your different radio uh, selection. So you can switch between your favorites here. And on the right-hand side, you have your volume rocker. So you can turn up the and down the audio volume. So and it gives a nice area, it shows you what volume you're changing right in front of you. But you do have a directional pad here with your answer and hang up and voice recognition. This directional pad does go through that digital display up front. You do have the RPM gauge, classic speedometer, but in the middle here, you do have your different pages. So you can scroll over on the home, on the home page here, you can see your current speed as well as you do have your range till empty. You can scroll over and see the different information here. You can see the speedometer, trip one and trip two, your fuel range, oil life, tire pressure monitor, air filter life, brake pad life, fuel economy, and your timer, as well as your follow distancing, your driver assistance there, engine hours, transmission fluid, your four wheel drive control, and then you can go over into your audio, you can change your audio through your favorites. Same thing with, um, you do have the turn by turn here through OnStar, so I believe you have to have an OnStar subscription to be able to use that, but you do have the phone connection here as well, where you can connect your phone and make uh, quick phone calls to your favorite contacts. So very easy and sleek designing up top there. Moving over to the infotainment here, you do have your gear selector right beside the screen. So you can shift into reverse. You do get your backup camera there with the adjustable guidance lines. And then you also do have the parking sensor that do show up right there as well. So you can put it back into park. You do have the different controls here, reverse, neutral drive, and then low mode. But coming to the screen, you do have this nice big touch screen with your multimedia on the left, your phone connection on the right. You can scroll over and see the different apps. You do have available Wi-Fi hotspot, different users set up you can set. You do have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, the trailing mode. You also do have your AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio and your USB connection there. You can scroll over. If you do have 4G LTE, you can use some of these apps like Amazon Alexa, your Warner Media, Spotify, your GMC Maps Plus. Um, then you can use the My GMC and then available OnStar there as well. You can also see the climate through the screen here and you can change the climate, change the fan speed, turn up and down the temperature for that dual zone climate control. You can turn it off. You can turn on the rear climate. You can change the rear climate through here as well. You can have it all set to auto and you can sync everything up. So that's very nice. The screen's super, super fast and clean. But moving down below that, you have a little soft touch padding here. You have your air vents, as well as you do your volume rocker, home button, skip, seek, and tune control. 
below this you're going to find your dual zone climate control with your auto and sink air your front and rear window defrosters you can turn and change your rear climate here so you can turn it on it will put, bring up the climate up top there you can turn it on or off you also do have your usb c and a as well as a 12 volt outlet deep storage compartment two cup holders a nice soft touch armrest this opens up gives you to another USB-C and A in there, a nice deep storage compartment there as well. That closes up, everything is all soft touch and premium feeling, nice leather wrap steering wheel here as well, which is always nice. Let's go take a look at the outside of the GMC and see what else it has to offer. So you have the Yukon badging along the side as well as that GMC badge. As we work way up to the front here, you do have a nice headlight design with the fog lights down below. You do have your OEM remote starter on the key here so you can start up the GMC nice and easily. And you see those LED rain lights. They do look very good with the black and chrome accenting throughout the whole Yukon. You do have your front parking sensors up front there. Detachable block heater connection as well. And then you can see the nice exterior of the Yukon. But working our way down to the rims here, you're gonna find your GMC alloys on your Michelin all season tires. You have your GMC badging Yukon. Your running, ba your running boards along the side. Oh, we have window tint all the way to the back here. You have the nice rear taillight design here as well with that nice design. The Yukon badging down below here with the SLE badge. You do have your rear parking sensors back here as well. And then your hitch for your trailer connection is down below. We can open up the lift gate here. And in the back, you're going to find a lot of storage behind the third row. Uh, you can lift this open. You do have a little bit of storage down below there as well. In the back here, you're going to find a full household outlet, which is always nice to have. And then you do have the options to fold down the seats here as well. So you can fold them down in a 60-40 split. So you do have those options, but we'll, we'll get to the back and see what else is going on when we are in the back seats right now. So on the rear door panel, you also do have the advanced keyless entry. Nice and you tap to unlock. You can open up the door here. And on the door panel, you're going to have that same soft touch armor, power door control, storage in the door panel here as well. Tons of leg room in the back here. I had that seat all the way back. And as you can see, this is still lots of leg room. You have the rear climate controls here um, that you can change and turn off from the front. All premium uh, styling. They didn't cheap out on the back climate control, which is always nice. Two USB-C ports back here as well as a full household outlet again. So you do have lots of charging capabilities for everyone in the Yukon. Also have two cup holders up there, pockets on back of the both seats, and the rear center armrest here folds down, gives you two cup holders and a little bit of a storage area. To get into the rear, the seats are on sliders, but you can just pull on this. Uh, they, do, they do fold down nice like that, and then you just pull again, opens up, gives you access to that third row. And in the third row, you're gonna find USB-C on each side, as well as cup holders on each side. So on this side here as well, you do have cup holders and that USB-C there. So you do have that and this is with the second seat all the way back and you still have lots of room. And so when you have this seat down, you can actually have it so this seat is actually a little bit ahead and then look how much leg room you get back there. It's really, really nice. You have that option and then you can always just slide this seat back nice and easily. So by, by pulling on this lever and just giving the seat a quick pull to get you to that right adjustment. Thank you for watching this quick overview of our 2021 GMC Yukon. If you have any questions about this awesome all black Yukon, you can visit parkmaz.ca. At that time, you can find out all the information. You can book this vehicle for a qualified test drive, and you can earn a $25 Visa gift card. We hope to see you guys soon and have a great rest of your day.